In many of the applications we'll study in this class, there will be both DC or constant voltage sources and time-varying signals existing in the same circuit at the same time. We'll analyze these circuits using the principle of superposition, where the total response will consist of the DC response plus an AC or time-varying response. Take as example this circuit right here that we will be um, studying when we, get to stu when we get to our transistor section. It consists of two DC sources. Notice the naming. Both DC sources' names consist of an uppercase name, in this case uppercase V, and then the subscripts are also uppercase. So this DC source here is uppercase V, uppercase CC, and the uh, other DC source is uppercase V with uppercase subscripts. In addition to these two DC sources, there is an AC or time varying signal included in or in addition as part of this circuit. Its name has a lowercase v, and then the subscripts are also lowercase. And then you'll notice that there is a voltage defined here, lowercase v, uppercase subscripts be, that consists of both the DC component and the AC component. Now every voltage and current within this circuit will have both a DC component and a time varying AC component. To discuss these kinds of situations, we need vocabulary and rules for naming, naming the variables that allow us to be specific and very intentional in our communication. Let's describe that naming convention or a, a common naming convention that's used that involves both uppercase and lowercase variable names and subscripts. You'll see here, and here we're talking about some current that's called I sub C. It has a DC component to it. The DC component is labeled with an uppercase name, I, and an uppercase subscript, C. So in our discussions, we're going to use the con this, this convention that the capital name and the capital subscript will refer to the DC component of whatever voltage current we're talking about. There's also this time varying signal in there that is named little case or lowercase i with a subscript lowercase c. So the small signal or the AC signal will use both lower cases for the name and for the subscript. Now the amplitude of this sine wave is given the name capital I with a subscript lowercase c. Notice the difference here. We had uppercase, uppercase, lowercase, lowercase. Now we've got uppercase name, lowercase subscript. And that is going to represent the amplitude of a time varying signal. And then finally we have the combination of the DC component and the AC component. And that's given the name lowercase i, uppercase subscript C. So the total subscript will have a name that will be the lowercase with capitalized subscripts. And this signal then could be written as I sub C, where this is a capital C, of T, so lowercase name, uppercase C, is equal to the DC component, I sub C, plus an AC signal that has an amplitude, uppercase I, lowercase C, sine of omega t. So this then is the total response, or the total quantity of this I sub c. This part here is the DC component. This whole thing here is the AC component, and this would be then I sub little c of t. And then we have the amplitude, amplitude, of the AC varying signal that has the uppercase name, lowercase subscript. And we'll consistently use this nomenclature throughout the book. And we need to be, expli we need to be explicit about it. When we're talking about one thing, we'll use the appropriate terminology for it and the appropriate names. Because when we get into this, it can be very confusing with all of these different quantities, I sub C. We need to be able to relate the uh, uppercase and the lowercase to the time varying and the uh, constant values.